<laughs> punchy tonight. She's been on the phone all day, continually. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to Monday Night Madness, another webinar gone wild. My name is Diane Hockman. That is me on the screen. We're getting tired of that picture. I think we got to do something new, Kat. I think so, too. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I gotta. I, I I don't know. I like Cassie to do it, but maybe I'll find someone else to to do something. My blog's looking a little tired, but hey, it's got good stuff, and that's all that really matters, that's in my right. opinion, anyway. Guys, for those of you that don't know her, this is the lovely and illustrious Kathy Heath. Hello, everybody. And then also on the line, we have hanging out. If she's back, Vanessa, are you back or you ran away? She ran away. She's probably like taking care of the kids. But Vanessa Duplessy left is more. We'll be with us in a little bit. And the birthday boy, Duke Romke's in the house. Duke, what's going on? Oh, just enjoying my cake still. See? He's eating birthday leftover birthday cake without us. Mm -hmm. Fine. We, we, we know who you are now. We're, I'm making a note of it. <laughs> making a note of it. No so, brownies for you, Duke. I know. You have no idea about the Kathy brownies. <laughs> and now you're on our <laughs> list of no brownies. It's Duke. Well, my cake's got the chocolate crunchies in the middle, so oh, I'm yeah. pretty happy right now. <laughs> you know what? No, you don't understand, and you may never understand now if you keep going with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see who's here. We got a whole crowd here. All right, let's uh, let's take a look and see what's going on. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Um, uh, cowboys in the house. You know who you are. I'm just scrolling down. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. All our good old friends are here tonight. Good. Mm -hmm. Seeing lots good, of good, familiar good. faces. Excellent. Well, cool. Guys, what we're going to do is I have a secret guest who shall remain nameless for a moment. I will not tell you who it is. I want the suspense to kill you. <laughs> I want you to sit and wring your hands together with, you know, <laughs> and then we'll have him come out and hang out a little bit. We're going to make one announcement over there. Then I got another announcement, and then I got a... I got a slam dunk big announcement. We can do a little q and I I don't really have a, a big agenda tonight, but gosh knows whenever she doesn't have an agenda is when something really good comes out. So That's for sure. It's uh, dangerous. It's the way it dangerous. is. Um, guys, if you've never been here before, you're probably figuring out by now this is not, <laughs> this is not your uplines <laughs> webinar, okay? Um, we're hardcore marketing folks. Um, you know, I started my business 13 years ago. I knew nothing about business, marketing, sales, or anything. I was just broke um, and looking for a way. And over the course of many years now, I've been doing this for a long time and have really learned all the facets of marketing and everything and have been very blessed and, you know, done some really cool stuff in the industry, including speaking at a lot of the large events and so on. So, um, you know, I'm pretty open to helping you guys with anything and everything you need. I come in on Monday nights just for the fun of it, just for, for free. It's open to the public. You can invite anybody you want. Um, I always, you know, try to be as transparent as possible. Some nights we're just hanging out and doing Q&A. Another night I have a guest and we're selling something. Another night we're, you know, uh, pitching a course or something. But what we're not doing is pitching an MLM here. It is generic. Um, you won't find us doing that. We certainly, all of us have different programs that we work, but um, I don't do that uh, on this call. So you're always welcome and safe to bring down a buddy, a friend, or whoever. So hopefully you come down, we have a good time, and we learn a lot of good stuff, and that's what we try to do. So is the suspense killing all of you? Oh, yes. Are you, are you dying to know who I have on the line? Well, I know who you have on the line, so... <laughs> Well, you're a cheater dog. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Wait, did anybody say hi to me before we start? Did anybody say hi in the Q&A? Oh, my gosh. Anything? Yeah, Robert said hi, and Linda said hi, and Rohan said hi, and... Rohan yeah. got engaged! Did he? Oh, my gosh, did you all hear? Oh, oh congratulations, Rohan got Rohan. engaged. Yay! <laughs> so, now, there's one cranky guy on the line right now going, Are we going to get down to business? What is the business? What is the business? <laughs> The point is, it's my call, and I'm going to have fun. This is my buddy, Rohan. This guy is the bomb. He's a total networker, total sales closer dude. And he, and i got to get the story from him uh, personally. Rohan, we got to talk this week. Apparently, Kathy, it's very 2012. He had a flash mob <gasps> show up so that he could propose. How cool. Fiance. 
which I, they didn't do that back in the 90s when I got, got engaged. I don't know, but I think that's absolutely incredible. I'm dying to hear the whole story, and if there's photograph or video or anything else involved, um, congratulations to you, Rohan. We adore absolutely. you, and we're, we're thrilled for you, and we wish you and your fiancé the very, very best. Um, I was so excited when I saw that. So. Oh, congratulations. So, that's so cool. Are they now more suspenseful than that was on the line? I don't know if they're more, but there people are saying congrats to Rohan and happy birthday to Duke. And <laughs> there we go. So this is good. It's like family, guys. If any of you want to, uh, we have the Q and A box, and you certainly can write in there. Although I hate the Q and A box, uh, everybody knows I do, but Kathy usually helps me out with it. Or this is my fan page, facebook.com forward slash Diane Hockman Training. I'll peek over here later on if you guys write something on here. Um, we will see it. Feel free to write something or a question or anything else, and uh, we'll find it over here as well. Kathy, did you see this? I did. I love it. It's so it's, um, cool. It's, <laughs> ew. <laughs> um, the Home Business Radio Network, homebusinessradionetwork.com, um, myself, my buddy Ray Higgin, Terry Petrovic, Mel Maletics, a whole bunch of us. Um, have shows on the on the radio, and if you guys aren't familiar with it, uh, definitely check it out. You can or you can put it on in your smartphone. You can carry it with you. Um, it's just music and cocktails. It's just there's shows on everything. In fact, I think one of the hosts. I thought I saw him floating around. Uh, I saw. I thought I saw uh, Mr. Beckett on the line somewhere here. And if he is, uh, guys, definitely check out Bob Beckett's call. Uh, or not call, but radio show. I'm so used to saying calls for 15 mm -hmm. years. It's hard for me to deal with the new technology. But they just did uh, these kind of cool logo-y things for us, so I threw mine up. Uh, all the shows have one, so it's kind of neat. And check that out. Guys, it's a great thing to have on. Um, play when you're chopping vegetables. That's what me and Kathy do. We talk while we're chopping vegetables. That's right. <laughs> we're sick housewives. All right, I think by now they can't handle it anymore. It's driving them crazy. They're dying to know. I have on the line with me one of my favorite people in the industry, cutie patootie that he is, Jason Better. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Schultz. Jordan, what's going on? Oh, I couldn't take it any longer, Diane. The suspense was killing me. <laughs> Wait a minute, you didn't know who you were? That's problematic. <laughs> Jordan, yeah, that only happens get, once a week, and this is not gotta, on a Monday. you got to get a little rest, honey buddy. <laughs> I'm going to bring up my favorite picture, and then uh, we'll get down to business and let it, let it roll here and see if I can find my picture. Um, Perfect. But, guys, if you haven't met Jordan, uh, Jordan is, you know, he's an attraction marketer extraordinaire, one of the leaders over at My Lead System Pro. He's a leader at a company which shall remain nameless and <laughs> we're generic in this uh, on this call and um, he's just one of the the most fun dudes uh, in the game and um, I asked Jordan to come crash tonight a little bit oh no this is only one picture in here well I'll show you this one picture guys Kathy is it up Can it's see up the picture? yep yep okay well Jordan's down here on the floor as usual cuddled by <laughs> Many, um, and Kathy's cuddling Jordan. <laughs> um, this was at a uh, private suite retreat we had uh, back in Vegas um, in April at the No Excuses Summit. And uh, Jordan and Adam, this is his uh, partner and buddy Adam up here, um, they kind of crashed the event, uh, and it was awesome because yep. um, everybody loved Jordan more than me, and I'm still mad about it. <laughs> If I heard one more person say how great Jordan was, I'm like, you came to my event. You're excited about Jordan. <laughs> but, um, no, he, he, he shared some really amazing, um, you know, create this funnel thing. And I'm not going to tell you what he shared, guys, because you weren't there. So, na 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 boo boo but. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jordan, I want you to tell everybody. Well, I find one more picture, and then I do have the site ready to go. Tell everybody why, besides the fact that I adore you, why I asked you to come down and hang out tonight? Well, because, you know, just, just like I was favorite at your event in Las Vegas, Diane, uh, you're going to be a favorite at our events out here in Denver that we're having in, was that, like 25 days or so? It's 
soon. So let's tell everybody about what's going on because, guys, the question tonight is who do you know in Colorado or within driving distance of Colorado? Because um, Jordan's going to fill everybody in on something special that's going. I still want to find this picture before before we go to the site. Perfect. You keep it's looking. Bugging me. Oh, it's in here. You're on a mission. You you do your thing. I am on a mission because this, uh -huh. this is. Tell me, girls, that you don't want to come to the Mile High Mastermind event that we're about to reveal to you because <laughs> you too could be in a Jordan and Adam sandwich. <laughs> the boys. That's, and that's Diane's only I'm selling going. them for 15 bucks. Diane's I know. Only it's selling it's them for 15 bucks. We'll have a kissing booth, right? Um, <laughs> it's become the, the big uh, joke for, for ages. We're having a lot of fun. The guys, they're like trying to, we're all post for a picture and all of a sudden the two of them turn and got me. So, um, <laughs> So yeah, we got a good Jim too. in the background had kissed, bent down and got my head, and then it would have been, uh, it would have been <laughs> heaven. But anyway, <laughs> let me pick up the site. So, guys, first thing we're going to do like a couple minutes, and then I have some big announcements on some other stuff too. Um, Jordan, fill everybody in on what we're doing and what's going on. I cannot wait. I'm excited. Yeah, well, you know, really quickly, uh, we were we were in Las Vegas, and, and and I think it was right after me and Adam kissed Diane that we seduced her <laughs> into uh, coming out here. We said, Diane, we, we want to throw this live event out in Denver because nothing ever happens out there. I mean, you've, you've been to Las Vegas for an event. You've been down to Florida. You've been, you've been to the West Coast, the East Coast, or Vegas. That's kind of where all the live events happen, at least live events that are industry-wide live events. And we want to bring it closer to home because I know there's a lot of people – in the Colorado area that say, you know what, I just can't make it down to Florida. I just can't afford to go there. It's too far away. Uh, I, can't, I can't get there. And so we wanted to bring something local and close so that everyone had a chance to get what we've been able to tap into, going to Las Vegas for no excuses, going to Florida and, and Las Vegas for live the dream. Well, we're bringing that here. And so we asked Diane, we said, Diane, we just can't do this thing without you. We came to her. We said, we want to do a live event, but quite honestly, we've never done a live event. I feel me and Adam have a lot to offer. We have a lot to learn from Diane, so it's very exciting to have her come out and just teach. I don't, I don't care what Diane comes out and teaches. She could talk about nonsense for five hours, and I promise you I will make thousands of dollars off of sitting there and listening to it. So it's just very exciting to have Diane coming out to Denver. We're going to be done on the 29th and 30th. It's going to be a very, very intimate group. Only 60 people allowed in this room, and we're going to be there for a Friday night mixer and then a Saturday all day long, and I think we got the room booked for like 12 hours. Yeah. So you're going to get we're private access. We're staying until we're done. Right? And, yeah, and, and we're, and we're going to make them kick us out. I mean, we're not, we're not leaving easily. We're, we're, we're a tough bunch to move. So We're going to work <laughs> this crowd, baby. We're going to Abs work it. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's, that's pretty much it, Diane, in a nutshell. You want to tell them a little bit about uh, what yeah. you're doing while you're excited about it? Yeah. Well, first of all, and you know what I want to do is I want to ask you if you've you know come to my webinars, you need the crew. If we've helped you at all, I want to ask you one to help pass the word on this event. The domain is MileHighMLMMastermind.com, just like it's written right here. The you know not the Mile High Mile High MLM. Kathy, can you guys see? Me? Yep. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? That's can you see good. me? Can you, you know, is my computer working? Can you turn it on for me? Um, <laughs> if I can do it, anybody can. Mile High MLM Mastermind. And for those of you that are in the area, um, one, I'm teaching stuff that I have not taught before, except for in England. I, I told Jordan, I'm okay, I admit it. I taught some of this stuff in England. Um, I have not taught it in continental United States. Um, so it's very special. Um, it's very intimate, very hands-on. Not like the big, big mega events, which I love, and they're awesome for networking. This is very intimate. It's really a first for the, you know, the southwestern area that brings something like this in there. And I'm asking you, one, if you're local, come on down. Okay, it's ninety-seven dollars. It's mega cheap. They're giving you, you know, food the night before, and you know, we're teaching you all day. It's an incredible deal. Um, and then two, if you're not in the area, let's say you live in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and you can't make it down to Colorado. And by the way, we're doing it right by the airport, so you can fly in if you want, and many people will. But I'd like to ask my crowd, my crew, do me a favor. Would you pass it along? Would you pass the link? Would you put it on Facebook? You know, right here you can like it. 
make a comment. And for any of you that have been to my events before, or Adam or Jordan's different things, if you have any testimony to give about you know things we've helped you with or that you've learned, we'd love to have you do that. Because right now we're just looking to pass the word and make sure that everybody that's in the area knows what we have going on. So um, you know, read the copy and then also. Um, Adam did an interview with me today. We'll get that out. I think he said he'd get it together for tomorrow. I'll get it out to my list as well so you guys hear about what I have up my sleeve for that particular event. And, uh, and that's, you know, the news on this event. And, um, guys, these guys are, what I love about these guys is they're kind of, they're, they're very like me. I'm, I'm a, quite a bit older than them. We won't discuss how much. Um, mm -hmm. But... They're very like me. What we like is the biggest bang for the least. This sounds lazy, but it's true. I like the biggest bang for the least amount of effort. I like the most leverage possible. Jordan loves news festivals and stuff. I, I like to hang out with the family, go traveling. I'm traveling a lot. I like to make sure that I'm getting the most leverage humanly possible. And that's the common denominator among all of us. It's going to show you how we do what we do while still just having a field day in life, having a really good time, and about how we're leveraging the power of the Internet and video marketing and all kinds of you know, list building and so on. Um, I'm certainly less technical than these guys probably. And you got, Jordan, you're not like heavy technical, right? I, I know a little bit. I mean, I put this website bit. together, but not, not much. I mean, it, it doesn't, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, he's I, not like Mr. Mr. You know, technical pants. That's a new term. <laughs> Mr. Techie pants. <laughs> but you know, yeah, and, I'm uh, writing that one down, Diane. <laughs> Mr. Techie pants. <laughs> so make a book of all the strange things I say. I swear, Jordan. Oh, brother. <laughs> But no, are, are you are you going to be released at the live event? Is that are you doing uh, <laughs> you know, autographs can, at the can, live event? Like PDF of all the bizarre yeah. things Hockman has said. Um, so if you yeah. come there, you get Diane to sign her book for you live in her. <laughs> there you uh. go. Actually, I will have <laughs> treats for everybody in attendance, believe it or not. Um, and no, I'm not talking chocolate bars. I, I will have marketing treats for all in, in attendance. So, it's, you know, it's like um, like party favors. <laughs> I'll have mm. a check. i got to have party favors. Maybe I'll have centerpieces. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> that's the scoop on the event. And feel free to definitely, if you want to hang out and, and hang out with us and have fun, I'm going to move into a couple of other things. But, Perfect. guys, please, please, please do it right now. Do it right now. Go to milehighmlmmastermind.com. Click like, make a comment, pass the word, tell them that Adam and Jordan are the bomb. Tell them that they're giving out free kisses at the event. He wants to charge 15 bucks, so I say you give them one for free. They'll pay for the rest. I'll, I'll do you it know. for free. Yeah, you can yeah it's like, a, you know, it's like an arm. ethical bribe, you know. Mm -hmm. Op, that's how you get the opt-in, babe. Come on. Yep, perfect. <laughs> you know. <laughs> See, I'm learning new stuff every day. It's amazing. <laughs> so beg, don't beg them for their money. Beg them for their time, as I said earlier. <laughs> get the, get the opt-in from them, and then you know, then you can close the deal. You know, everybody's in a rush to close. Don't be in a rush. It's more fun. <laughs> advice from the, I'll be married 22 years in July. Yeah, wow. it's like crazy when I sit and I'm like giving them advice. You know. <laughs> crazy. Um, I know uh, Linda Cromar, I think, is here. She's going to be there. I don't know who else. I believe they told me like seven or eight tickets are already gone, and we just announced it. So um, definitely grab your tickets. And, again, you know, fly in, drive in, take a boat, take a plane, you know, motor home, motorcycle. Hard Diane, I'm actually, I'm actually getting texts as we speak of people telling me they just bought their tickets. So they See, are, they are not cakes. We just kind of we just announced uh, and and launched stuff over on I crashed uh, Adam and Jordan's webinar and then Jordan came and crashed mine so so yep, yep. there you go now I'm gonna make um, some other announcements and some different things now and but before I do I'm gonna say that till the end um, guys I grew up in Herbalife and if you're familiar with Herbalife at all the founder of Herbalife um, his name is Mark Hughes and Mark Hughes passed away at the young age of 44 in 2000 or 2001 I forget what it was. But one of Mark Hughes' famous things that he did was he'd always wait until the last five minutes for some really cool announcements. Go over some stuff with people and help you guys out a little bit. So, guys, you can go over to the Facebook page and or in, in the chat box here and type in some stuff if you want. 
But um, I'm going to give you the big, this is like a big announcement. Kathy cannot believe, nobody knows except for Kathy. And Kathy right now is, Kathy doesn't even know all of it. Because <laughs> um, I make it up as I go. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a habit of making things up as I go along. It, Jordan, it's called the Irresistible Offer, uh, you know, du jour. Um, <laughs> guys, this is what I do. When I look at something... I just look at a situation, and a lot of people are like, um, you know, they'll look at a situation and they'll go like, I want to make money, or I want to do this, or I want to do that. All I do is I look at a situation, and I go, how can I help people the most while helping myself? How can I make it as win-win or win-win-win, depending on how many parties are involved? How can I make it anything that I do and everything I do, how can I make it that that as many people as humanly possible are super happy. That's my philosophy. So when I look at marketing, that's the way I look at it. How can I serve? How can I help? Still making a great living. How can I show other people how to make a great living? Um, you know, how can I have the most fun? Seriously, guys, I'm 45 years old, okay? I'm on the second half now, unless I go to 100, which I might. But I'm thinking 90 is decent. I mean, I'll take 90. So I'm on the second half. So the fun meter is running. And <laughs> I'm going to have, what? Yeah, write that one down too, Gabby. The fun <laughs> meter is running. i got to have as much fun as humanly possible. Want to play? Great. Don't want to play? Great. Want to be, want to be fussy and mad at me because I don't sit and do phone calls all day long every day and I play with my kids and stuff? Whatever. I hear. But, <clears throat> so last five minutes, it's an old Mark Hughes trick. If you want people to hang out, withhold what they want from them. Everybody goes, is it going to be recorded? I got like 27,000. <laughs> is it going to be recorded? My line is that every word that falls from my lips is recorded. The question is, will I give it out? And That's right. Not. So. so, guys, please, I'm going to check on you guys because I, I just asked you a favor. I'm willing to do you as many favors as you need. What do you need? Do you need advice? Do you need a tip? Do you need help? Do you need resources? Tell me what you need. I'm asking you to help me, Adam and Jordan, out liking this. Mile high MLM mastermind and making a comment, um, you know, like, hey, this is the bomb. I live on the East Coast. If you live on the Coast, um, easiest comment to make is, who do you know in Colorado? Okay, who do you know in Colorado? Pass this puppy along, tweet it, you know, Pinterest it or whatever, pin it. Um, whatever it is you know how to do, I'm asking you the kindness of doing that for me. And of course, if you're coming, uh, email me right away. One, at the bottom of this, you'll see there's some amazing bonuses. And then also one, one lucky person uh, who's at this event will be uh, selected by some sort of selection process. We'll figure out what that is. And they will get something really, 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 oh, did I say really good? So, thank you. Huh. So, uh other thing I want to tell you guys, um, if you haven't been over to the blog today, I posted um, this last night, Kathy, 3.30 in the morning, right? And I haven't been very bloggy lately. I've been busy doing other stuff. I haven't been yeah, me too. posting to the blog a lot. I haven't been very bloggy. So last night I was like, I better put something in my blog, <laughs> you know, because Ray Higdon does, like, his blog every day, like clockwork, and I look like a, you know, a loser next to Ray. And i got to look good here, Ray, because, you know, he's good looking. So um, <laughs> I thought I'd post on my blog. And so I'm, like, getting something else over at YouTube, and I look at this video. And this video is from March 2010. And if you guys want you to go watch it, because I totally and completely predicted what was going to happen over the two years that just passed. Um, and the reason why I'm so hot on being on the road right now and speaking, I'm going to tell you about some other upcoming events in a minute and that special announcement, is because I believe in my heart and soul that I know what's coming again. Now, I can show you footage of me from four years ago. Am I bragging? No, because I'm actually begging. See, one person might brag, I'm begging you. I'm begging you to pay attention. I'm begging those of you that have known me for a while. I keep getting phone calls from people, and they're like, wow, so much has happened to you, and wow, this, this, and that. I'm begging you to hear me. 
because I can tell you where it's going and I can tell you what you can do to capitalize on it. And the reason why I'm traveling so much, I just got invited to another event. I mean, I'm traveling all over the place. I'm in a plane like every other week for the next, for the rest of the year. The reason why I'm traveling is I'm trying to share this information with as many people as humanly possible. So if you know me now, watch the video and go, wow, she, she talked about this two years ago. And re read what I wrote. If you knew me then, and you watch this, I want you to go, <clears throat> because if you're not making the kind of money that you want, if there was ever a time to capitalize, it's now. Because, <sighs> Kathy, paddle, paddle, kick, kick, catch the wave. Absolutely. Maybe we'll give that Absolutely. audio up. Well, those of you that have my audio sets know what paddle, paddle, kick, kick is. If not, we'll bring those audios back out in a couple weeks. So, so that's another announcement. I'm so excited I can barely even about this now. Anybody ask me a question? Um, Ryan wants to know where the video is. It's on her blog, Ryan, dianehockman.com. There you go. Kathy, do you want us to sing you a song or something? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just feel like, like we should sing for you or something, or rub <laughs> your back, or I don't know. It's all good, Diane. I'll, I'll take a back massage. I'm, I'm always well, good for you're, you're always looking for a back massage. Like, Jordan, how about you go rub her back? And, and <laughs> I'm waiting for my page to load. You go rub back. I want to see. There's no other, nobody has a marketing question. A I've marketing got a question for you, Diane, if no one else does. Hit me, hit me. I, okay, so how, my, the thing I want to know is how do you create so much buzz around social media? I mean, you're just like, it's, it's all over. You, you are... The queen of social media buzz. It's it's amazing. First, and it's such a great question. Um, first, you need to have contact and relationship with a lot of people. Um, I shared with Adam today. He asked me what my daily routine is, and I won't disclose everything that's in that audio. Um, but one of the things every single day, I am reaching out, meeting more people. Um, should I teach a particular activation system, Kathy? Do they deserve it tonight? Mm -hmm. Jordan deserves it, so everybody. Jordan else definitely it. deserves it. All right, Jordan, I'm gonna, thank you, I'm thank gonna talk you. about something. I'm gonna talk. About, I mean, you might have heard of this already. Oh. Guys, all of you. By the way, I'm not talking to Duke, and I'm not talking to Vanessa, and I feel bad. You guys hanging out? Yep. Yeah, they're here. Yep. Okay. I think Duke's, Duke's busy eating cake. He's kind of preoccupied <laughs> with the cake. I know. He's can like, you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Hey, Vanessa, did you get that Skype I sent you? Um, Depends on when. If it was after this conversation, I'll go look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it was tonight, okay. and you should you should look it in. You don't have to tell me what, what you think. I, I do this, Jordan, I do this all the time on my webinars. I just have sidebar conversations to make everybody sit and wait for me. Um, it, was like, it was like something really cool I thought of, and look at it and tell me what you think. Okay? Okay, you got it. Okay, okay cool. Um, so you have everybody in their brain has this thing called the reticular activating system. Guys, this is so relevant to Facebook and social media, it's not even funny. And if you understand this one thing, in fact, Dan, this is a good good lesson you're getting tonight, Kev. Um, mm -hmm. If you've ever heard me teach this before and you have not used this, you need to be smacked upside your head. Okay? Exactly. <laughs> and if you haven't heard this before, I'm about to give you the gold. My Facebook won't load right. Maybe we'll do a different one. Okay, so Jordan, you have the reticular activating system. It's in your head. And what it does is whatever's at the top of your mind is what you will notice. What I mean by that is you are a young, 20-something, good-looking dude. So I would imagine that occasionally you think about the ladies. Once in a occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. So once, you, once go every to, so often. you go to a music festival, and of course, I'm sure that many of the ladies are wearing cute little summery halter toppy things, right? Absolutely. And mm -hmm. I would imagine you notice them. If, if God's on my side that day, they are. Diane. <laughs> they're, oh, they're, they're wearing the cute little outfit, yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, by the way, Bob. 
I'm not talking to y'all anymore. Because they'll, uh, Kathy, everybody will call me and ask me for help. Can you answer a question for me? And I take all the calls and I take mm-hmm. all the emails mm-hmm. and everything else. And I'm asking you guys to help me out tonight. MileHighMLMMastermind.com. I'm asking you to share it. Don't come asking me questions or for help if you don't help me. Ooh, she's tough. Anyway, you're at the, I know. I'm like, what's he tonight? I'm, I'm a woman on a mission. The, my, my second half of the year, June is here, so the quarter. Yep. January, March, April, May, June, right? So we're in the last month of the second quarter. So I got the second half of the year. I'm on a mission. So, so Jordan, you're at the festival. There's some tunes going on. You're noticing all the cute things, right? Now, mm. are you a blonde or a brunette guy? Don't say I'll take anything. Which one do you prefer? Brunette. Okay, brunette. I knew that about I him. I did too. By the way. Mm-hmm. I knew that about him. So he's more likely. How did you, how did you know that about me? What um, what gave it away? Well, I've seen you with a brunette, and I just guessed that. I don't know. <laughs> I just knew that about you. Anyway. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so am I. So you're more likely to notice the brunettes. And if we really wanted to get weird on the phone call, I could ask you more about build and what you prefer and so on. But we will. This is a family hour show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. But you're going to notice those girls. Now, I'm a 45-year-old woman who's a mother of two, okay, mother of two teenage daughters. Am mm-hmm. I going to the festival and noticing those girls the same that you're noticing them? Hopefully not. No. Yeah, no. hopefully not. Unless you're a weird <laughs> bisexual pedophile or something. But, but I'm not, okay? I'm not noticing. I might notice a pretty girl that looks like, oh, what a pretty girl. But I'm not sitting and noticing the girls because that's not at the top of my mind. Anything, if I notice them, if they're misbehaving, I'd be like, oh, I pray my girls don't do that, something like that, okay? <laughs> it's a whole different thing. And the reason why is because your reticular activating system is programmed to notice what's at the top of your mind. And so is mm-hmm. mine. Everybody did. Guys, this happens. Um, I, I use the example women. Uh, they don't know they're pregnant, they're not thinking about being pregnant and everything, all of a sudden they find out they're pregnant and all they can notice everywhere is baby carriers and baby seats and cribs and every baby that goes by, all of a sudden they notice. You're, you're not looking for a new car and then all of a sudden you kind of decide you're looking for a new car, you pick what car you're, you want to, I don't know anything about cars, Nissan Maxima. And all of a sudden it seems like there's Nissan Maximas everywhere on the road, they're everywhere. They weren't there yesterday. But today, because something is making you notice it, it's everywhere. And this happens to your brain. Think about it, guys. Was there a time that you made a decision? Like, I was getting a new uh, big screen TV for Christmas. I could care less about TVs, but the day I decided to, to look for TVs, now every store ad, I'd look at the Target ad, I never noticed the TVs before because I wasn't looking. I'd look at the Best Buy ad, and the TVs weren't there. The computers were there. All of a sudden, there were TVs. So when you go on Facebook, guys, this is such gold. The more people you meet and the more people you know and the more people you have fun little conversations with, what you're, the more you like people's stuff and don't like it to be fake. I mean, I look at, you know, I look here and I go, oh, this is cool. I see somebody's picture or something. I like it or I make a comment about it, right? So the more people you start to do that with, Read everything you say and look at all your content. You guys follow that. Every day I'm interacting with people. Hey, what's going on? I love that picture. Wow, that's cool. I hope your kid's all right. All this other stuff. And then what happens is then I say something. Let me show you the example. Because Jordan's saying I get a lot of buzz. Well, I can write the sky is blue and get 50 likes in 15 minutes. If I say the sky is blue and beautiful, I could get 100 likes in 20 minutes. And people are like, how do you do that? It's because I've activated them. But so you're, you're like sawing something. <laughs> uh, so what happens, let me find you one. A couple minutes ago, we were doing this. Trying to find one here. Uh, I mean, I, over here. I mean, this is. I said I'm going out to dinner for my daughter's birthday. Nineteen people liked it. Fifteen people commented. But there's a couple of them here that have over fifty. Uh, oh, Adam put. <laughs> he did. He interviewed me. Uh, I got ninety-three signups and made ten thousand dollars in the past seven days. That's what he interviewed me about. You know, and and notice how. 
and this is no offense to Adam, but notice how there's not a lot of commentary on this. If I said it, there'd be, for, see here, 40, 40 others like it. So it's 42 people liked it, 22 comments. Uh, 32 people like it, 34 people like it, 8 comments, uh, 25 people like it, 26 comments, and I'm not even trying to crank these. If I wanted to get the news around about something, not only can I get everybody to say something because I have a relationship with them, but I can get all my buddies to pass the word. And that's the art of promotion, and that's a lesson for another day that we won't do tonight. But in the end game, it's about you activating everybody to hear you, listen to you, and notice you. If you don't activate people because every day you're too busy trying to make, I'm not talking to you, Jordan, but all of you guys. If you're too busy thinking about yourself and thinking about what you're going to sell and what you're going to make and how much money you're going to get and so on, nobody gets activated to you. You become almost invisible. It's like commercials on TV. They're invisible. When the commercial comes on, what do you do? You change the channel. I run my business like cheers. Somebody walks into my environment, I'm screaming, Norm! Are you, too, are you too young for that, Jordan? Oh, no, I know cheers. Okay, good, I felt bad. I know Norm. I know Norm. So, <laughs> I love that show, man. <laughs> so if you spend six months yelling, Norm, every time somebody shows up, they feel good every time they walk into your environment. And when they feel good, they interact. And when they feel good and safe and interact, they tend to get on your list. And when they get on your list, they tend to get all your communications and open your emails. And when they open your emails, guess what they tend to do? Buy stuff. Mm. That's my scientific way of doing it. It's all awesome. your brain or people's brains. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you learn the simple psychology of a human being, what happens is you don't have to do all the hard work anymore. True. Uh, do I know SEO? Somebody posted today, in fact, one of the guys from your, uh, from the event thing, they said that they were doing keyword research, and I came up as a related term to something kind of major, and I giggled. I don't know anything about SEO, because I know about people. Now, is there anything wrong with learning about SEO? No, guys, it's awesome. Uh, a couple guys over at MLSP right now are cranking it with SEO, but I don't feel like learning it. <laughs> some goofy. So this is what I do. Long-winded answer to a short question. What do you think, Jordan? That was a great answer. I love it. You follow I, it? Absolutely. I, you know, I really hope I really hope everyone is really paying attention to taking notes right there, Diane. I've got I've got like a half a page of notes already. But it, it, it's very noticeable. I mean, just exactly what you said again, no offense against Adam or even myself, like when I do stuff like that, it it doesn't it's it's from it's from that consistent daily stuff that you're doing, um, and that that people continue to take notice of you. That 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 that's just absolutely powerful. I hope people really realize what they just got right there. Mm -hmm. And what's cool is it's so simple, easy. You know, like back when I started my business and um, I was getting leads. I was selling uh, weight loss and health and wellness, and I was getting leads. And I didn't know how to do certain things. I didn't know how to run my computer. I didn't know how to run my print like we do now. We had, you know, we had like AOL, you've got mail type of stuff. And I wanted to send postcards out to these leads that I got. And I couldn't figure out how to print them in my printer right and I kept screwing it up. So finally one day I just went, screw it. I don't know how to do this. So I'm just going to hand write the postcards. And every day I'd write out 30 postcards, handwritten postcards. I'd write them out. I'd write out postcards. I'd email the people. And I'd also uh, leave them a message. I tried to call when they weren't around. I really didn't want to talk to them. I just wanted to push them to opt in. So that was the beginning of autoresponders and stuff. And people would go, you write out 30 postcards a day? Like it was like brain science, you know, like a brain surgery that I was doing. I was like, yeah, sit down in front of the TV have a glass of iced tea, watch half an hour of TV, and write out 30 postcards. What's the big deal? And everybody wanted to overcomplicate everything. This, anybody can do it, and everybody's busy learning how to do all this stuff. They're not building a list, and they're not building a following, and they're not building their, their entity because they're so busy trying to learn stuff that brain won't let them learn. 
their brain won't let them learn it for another year until they go through the muck. Uh, you can't go from... Guys, you can't become... What's the name of the famous swimmer dude now? See, I'm thinking Mark Spitz because I'm old. Michael Phelps. What? Phelps. Thank you, Duke. Duke. Duke the athlete would know all the athlete things. Um, you know, guys, you can't go from a doggy paddle to being Michael Phelps. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. And yet people want that. And they, they're so silly because they'll let a whole year go by. In a year, how many people could you met, have met on Facebook and activated? But yet they'll let a year go by and drop seven, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 on mm -hmm. this cockamamie stuff. Mm -hmm. And if they would just take 15 minutes and activate 20 people a day, they'd have a list. Rant. Kathy, Love it's it. 942. Good rant. Very yeah. good rant. Yep. Well, it's a rant that deserves to be heard multiple times because every day that goes by that you guys are not building relationships, meeting people, activating them to you so that they're paying attention to you, and every day that goes by that you don't get so many people into your list is a day lost. Is a day lost. And every time you lose a day, you're losing money. Yep. And in the meantime, I know your blog is purple and sparkly, and it looks really, really good. Mine looks like crap, but I made $10,000 last week. So, you know, and that's just from one thing. That's not the residuals and the this and the that. So make your blog look pretty, whatever. Um, did anybody say anything before I make this announcement? Um, they're making comments about um, how cool that reticular activation thing is and how they think it's a gold. Um, Good. Send me money. <laughs> <laughs> building on interaction. Hey, pal. Diana. Diane Hockman. Three bucks. That's fine if you each send it. <laughs> I'm just looking to see what a couple people said. I know Linda's coming out to Colorado. Well, she doesn't mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Somebody I'll seems to think that Jordan thinks about women all the time. So. <laughs> well, he said, he's 28-year-old single, healthy American male. Please. Yes. Uh, that's what you should be doing. Exactly. So, good for you. Good for you. I'm on, I'm on the same page with you, Diane. We're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it's, um, guys, it's, it's much simpler than you think. And then what's really cool is once you understand this dynamic, then you can go and learn how to, like, for example, if you activate people to you, then you can practice on writing good copywriter. You can learn how to tip, plow them, like push people into your list. In fact, if any of you guys are on the line tonight, you're not on my list at dianehoffman.com. If you haven't put in your name and email, you're goofy because I send good stuff out. Yeah, I send out sales things, but I send a lot of different things and videos and news updates and so on. I come out and do these webinars every Monday night. You get the announcements for them et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't chase people and try to trick them into getting into my list because I only want, the only people I want on my list are the people that go, she knows something. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't want people that want to read a bunch of canned sales letters written by somebody else on my list. I real, write real time. You guys can tell if you read, if you read what I write, you tell I wrote it like this afternoon while my kid was screaming, you know, stuff like that. So, um, I think I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm so excited about it, um, and I had no time. I mentioned it's my daughter's birthday, and by tomorrow I will have some type of site, and I'll get this all done. There's a lot of launches and things going on, and a lot of my colleagues that I work with have things going on that I want to support them in, including, you know, the Mile High Mastermind. Of course, I'll be there. Um, you know, there's a lot of things going on, um, and... So honored to be a speaker at the No Excuse Summit out in Las Vegas. Um, I've known Fernie Ceballos since he was like four. <laughs> no. I met Fernie, and for those of you who have never heard the story, the first time somebody ran an ad, Jordan, I don't know if you know the story, first time somebody ran an ad on my name on Google back when y'all could advertise on Google before the slap, I, I'm like Googling my name one day, and there's this whole thing about Don Hockman being a scam. And I'm like, this is back before everybody and their uncle was doing this. And I was like, who is this person? 
and what the hell are they up to, blah, 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 blah. So, and I always joke and I say that I'm on a need-to-know basis. I don't need to know anything technical until I need to know it. Well, that's your sweet bippy. I figured out how to find out who owns a domain name that day. I learned who it is, or however you mm-hmm. say it. I learned what who it is that day because I was busy pulling up that domain to find out who was the moron that was running this ad, because this is, this is before everybody else did this. Who was saying this about me? Of course, what did I pull up? Who was the owner of the site? But young Fernando Savaya. <laughs> that's so awesome. That's why I know Fernie <laughs> from years ago. I know Fernie before I met Mike Dillard and everybody else, before Fernie knew Mike Dillard. And um, so to watch uh, Ray and Fernie become so darn successful and to watch No Excuses balloon into the incredible event that it is, um, it's just really exciting to me. So um, a lot of you guys know, and a bunch of you guys were with me out in uh, Vegas, and you saw the, um, some of the photographs um, from the event, and I have a little video and all this other stuff. So anyway, I'm sure you've seen, if you've been on Facebook today or on anybody's email list in this industry, I'm sure you've seen that they just released the home study course. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, everybody's screaming about the home study course. So um, there's two things coming up over the next two weeks. Oh, look, there's Jonathan. He just got married. He's so cute. Um, and there's <laughs> Andrew, and he should get married. So I'm sorry. You, you, he's 45. you got to marry him off. I don't know. It's crazy. You're too young yet, Jordan. You don't have to get married yet. You have my good, 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 good. <laughs> no rush on you. But when they, when they get to be like 34, it's time. Anyway, you got a little time left. So <clears throat> I have done... I have done um, many of my own closed-door marketing events, um, and what I do is I make them ridiculously intimate, um, and I charge a lot of money. Um, why don't I charge, you know, the prices that some other events charge and so on? Um, because. One, I was taught early on, and, and by the way, guys, this has nothing to do. Jordan and Adam, this is their first event, and what they're charging is absolutely perfect, and what we're going to deliver is going to be over-deliver. It's ridiculous, incredible. So when I talk about how I run my particular events and what I do, it has nothing to do. It's, it's like a different vibe of an event, if you guys follow what I mean. So when you hear this, don't be like, wait a minute, she's contradicting what she said over there. I'm absolutely not. There's events that you go to that are large events, or in this case, it's an, it's an intimate event, and that's why it's such a good deal, because you're not going to get an intimate event like that again in Colorado uh, at that price point that way. The price will either go up to keep it intimate, or the price will stay the same, but it will become larger. And that's because it will take on a, a life of its own. It's just like all these other events. They take on a life of their own. When I started my events, I decided that I wanted to do something very special, because for me, what I love, and Vanessa, if you're over here, too, you guys can attest to this because you work with me a lot. I love to work hands-on, eyeball to eyeball with people. Is that true? Do I bug you guys? Yeah. Very, me? very true. Yeah. So for me, having a very small group in a room, and, and I always joke because I usually start the day dressed up nice, and by the end of the day, I'm in a ponytail and flip-flops. Mm-hmm. Because I just degrade as the day goes by because I become more fast and furious with the marketing. And we're really working hands-on with the people. And um, generally we have um, between, I don't know, Kathy, we've done 20 up to maybe 40 people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, And the 40 people, even in the 40 people, it's um, some of them are my protege students that are not just Kathy Heath assists and teaches with me. She's not the student. She's one of the teachers and so on. So I booked the dates and everything, and we're all set to do um, the event, and that's July, what is it, Kathy, 21st and 21st 22nd? 21st and 22nd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, J- July 21st and 22nd in the Hartford, Connecticut area, which, again, is another area that rarely, the Northeast, we don't get a lot of events because to go to New York is too expensive and it's impossible. Not much comes into Boston, certainly the Connecticut area, the whole Northeast, Southern New England, et cetera, New York, New Jersey. 
Um, maybe you'll find something in the Newark area, but we don't get a lot of stuff up here. So I decided to do them close to home, and I have been planning this event, and people knew it was coming. So I mumbled about it to a couple of people. My protege students knew about it, but other than that, I haven't announced it. Well, it's a $300 event. Last time I charged 100 but I decided to be nice. And what it's called this time, again, tomorrow there'll be a video and all that stuff. This is a special announcement tonight for the faithful. Okay, this event is called Pitch Fest. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. Pitch Fest, okay? Pitch Fest. And what it is is how to sell anything, anywhere, anytime, the art of creating irresistible offers that cause people to throw credit cards at you. And what will happen is you will learn the dynamics of how to create an offer, how it works, how to psychologically trigger people, how to position it, how to place it, etc. And then you will learn how to execute it, and you will leave being able to do it. Now, we all know that the people at the front of the room or the people that know how to put together the presentation or the offer make all the money. And then the people who push people into the offers that have been created make some money. The affiliates make some money, and it's good. And they can make you know so much. Makes the money. Would you guys agree, those of you that are on the open line? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And if you don't know how to pitch, you don't know how to make the kind of money that you deserve to be making. Now, the thing about me that's a little different is a lot of people will um, I can pitch anything, anywhere, anytime. I'm talking company stuff. We do exercises where people throw out. We have somebody wanted me to pitch uh, uh, body bags one time, and they all wanted to buy them. So, remember that, Kathy? I do, I do. <laughs> I tell people, name something weird, you know, and so somebody Yeah, so we bags. were selling body bags that day. There's it was a crazy. formula. There's a formula to it. And I don't have slick web because a lot of people will be like, well, it's slick or it's just not. I'm not doing, I'm, ta I'm not talking about people that are putting together multi-million dollar launches. I'm not talking about Brendan Burchard and this and that and Ray has something coming up next week and all this other stuff. I'm talking about being able to package something up so that your prospect says, blah, 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 and then you just like turn around and whip and answer them back in a way that makes them go, oh, okay, here's my credit card. So no fancy websites required, no fancy technology required. You don't have to install WordPress. You don't have to do this. If you can create an offer and you know how to create an offer, then all of that is gravy. And if you learn how to push traffic into it and all this other stuff, it's gravy. But you have to be able to look someone in the eye on a video, in person, or write an email with a pitch that causes we're doing July 21st and 22nd. And I'm about to do something insane because it is, Kathy, the last five minutes. Um, I feel really strongly that everybody, that, by the way, the price of the event, I mentioned that, is 297 People that have attended my events before, if you have attended one of my events in the past, you get $100 off. If you have paid full price to come to an event, a couple of you guys are on the line, and you know that's always been my deal. If you come once to one of my events, pay full price. If you come the second time, I'll knock $100 off. If you come the third time, I'll knock $200 off. And you basically are coming for, you know, next pennies. to nothing. Hmm? I said pennies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I honor those that come back. Um, and the topics are generally usually different. So it's worth coming back. Um, but this time I'm going to do something sickly, crazily insane. Um, because remember I said early in the call that if I can make something win, it's always better. I just scan a situation. And I go, how do I make this a score for everybody involved? Okay. Fernie and Ray started today selling the No Excuses Home Study Course. Let me pull this up. And by the way, anybody can buy a ticket. I don't even have a link up yet. Um, anybody can buy a ticket for this. And um, 
I'm not afraid to tell you that this is the most ridiculous value, except for the, you know, the Jordan event, which is a better, almost more ridiculous value. But I won't be teaching the same content there. Um, I'm going to be teaching some seriously valuable content out there. Uh, but it's a little different. Uh, what do I want here? No excuses, Um They They just released the home study course for the No Excuses event. Now, if you went to the event and you already bought it, sorry, <laughs> too late. Um, but if you have not bought the No Excuses Home Study Kit, what they're giving you is the footage from the whole event, but they're giving you the breakout rooms plus additional footage. I was able to put in a, Kathy, did, I put in the uh, cash copy. Oh, did you? Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, there was asked kind of like, you know, last minute. I put in a whole copywriting clinic. Um, there's extensive, extensive, extensive training in this thing, and I think the value that they put together this year is, is really kind of crazy. Um, and I think that everybody needs it. So what I'm doing is if you purchase this product through my link, I will give you a ticket, a free ticket to my event. So basically that's making whether you want your course to be free or your seminar to be free, doesn't matter, whatever, either way. You're getting something for free because it's the same price. It's two ninety seven. So it's buy one get one free. Um, and for those of you that go, well, that's great, but I'm busy that weekend, and or I can't get to Connecticut. I'm also I've been on the phone. Today. I'm going to plan one in Vegas. So yeah, mm. Daniel oh. Patrick. She's like, do I have an excuse to go to Vegas? I love you, now, Diane. <laughs> right now. I'm going to show you the room that I have. Let's see if I can get a bigger one. But right now, we have this really cool, like, college-style, fancy seminar room. I've never used a room like this, so I kind of like it because I can dance up and down the steps. You know, I can do like yeah. a kind of stair move or it's something. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so I can only fit 40 people. Uh, I might be able to increase the ca capacity or whatever. We can stick people up here in the front on the floor or whatever. Um, but that is what I'm doing. Now, will I sell this ticket standard? Yes. If I have any left over after this offer goes out to everybody, will I still sell them? Yes. If you want a regular ticket, yes. If you are a previous attendee, you always get dibs. If you're a protege, you guys know you're free. Proteges don't pay for anything. If you don't know what a protege is, you'll find out someday <coughs> when it's appropriate. Um, why am I doing this? Because I'm literally making less money, a lot less money, uh, than I would if I sold you a ticket straight? The answer is simple. Because I want you guys, and I want you guys not only to have video that you can study, but then I want you to have hands-on help. Because the reality is, all of the speakers at this event, and I'm not going to, you know, why does everybody want to speak at this event, and why does everybody want to spot speak? Because they make a boatload of money. Because everybody gets all riled up at the event and hungry, and they go buy stuff. So if you have all of their pitches on tape that you can study, and then you can come to Pitch Fest and then study the dynamics of why the pitches work, what causes the people to buy, emotionally what's going on inside of people. And if you can learn to write a pitch and or speak a pitch, can you make a lot of money for the rest of the year? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. So here's how you do this. If you go to dianehockman.com, you can click on No Excuses Summit, or you can do dianehockman.com. Oh, flash, I think it's No Excuses. We'll see what we rigged up. I don't know what I think it rigged up. Uh, no Excuses. You, I think it's just no excuses is the right one. Let's see if it works. No. No? Looks like it's going somewhere. Maybe not. You see, I'm always so prepared. Isn't it mm -hmm. impressive? Mm -hmm. This is how not to do Hey, by the way, this is what you're learning here. If a pitch has an incredible value and it serves the people, it doesn't matter if you screw up. If a pitch, oh, it, it, it was going somewhere there. If a pitch is irresistible, 
it doesn't matter if you mumble the words or mess up. Oh, I'm going offline, Kathy. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. um, my Internet's going down. So the easiest thing to do is go to Diane. Now, here's the deal. You guys, this is a whole cookie system. If you've been looking at this today, if you've already started watching some of the videos and so on, you need to clear the cookies on your computer before you buy. Otherwise, your sale will not get credited, and I can give you a free bonus on something that you didn't buy from me. Very, very, very important if you have questions about that, Facebook me after, you know, just get a hold of me if you're not sure you've never done that before. <clears throat> I'm going to sell this thing out very, very quickly because once I put the word out, the only people that know right now are the people that were here. I will now cut a video, an email, and everything. I expect it will be gone in minutes. Mm -hmm. If you go ahead and get this because you, and you can't come to Connecticut, just let me know. We'll book you into the West Coast version, okay? The West Coast one will be actually more intimate than the East Coast one because I'm going to do it in that fabulous suite again uh, like we showed you before. Um, I'm going to get one of those suites, and it'll literally be very intimate like that one was. Um, if any of you guys were at that suite retreat and want to, you know, um, raise your hand now if you want to make comments or anything, uh, I'd love to hear from you and or you can write it on my wall and stuff like that, let people know um, how valuable what that was, and that was just a mastermind. There was no specific agenda to that event. This event has a very, very, very specific agenda. And by the way, there will be a VIP, <laughs> VIP sounds so cheesy, but there will be an advanced group. So you're going to get so much for free with your ticket, and then I also offer something more advanced where I'm literally helping people craft pitches. Um, so you're going to learn, do it, you're going to do it as a group. For those of you that want something more advanced, I will make that available to you with hands-on sessions with you, either during that weekend or after the fact. If there's anybody on the line that wants to wheel and deal and negotiate with me, I can't come to the event. It's my daughter's wedding. But I really want to, you know, I might be able to work out some Skype time or something with you. It depends on my schedule and if I can fit it in. I'm open to your request. Um, really what this is about is helping people. So um, I want you to I want you to sit and, and consider if you've gotten as far as you've gotten, depending on where you are. If you can't pitch now, where are you going to be at the end of the year? And at what point will you make the commitment to learn this skill? The guy that makes the money in your MLM is the one that can pitch. The guy that makes the money with the affiliate program is the one that can make the presentation. The guy or gal that makes the money in everything is the one that can craft the offer. Can you craft offers? And if not, by the way, if you do it in copy, I don't care if you're a guy like Dagan Smith who does it pretty much in copy, although he's getting pretty darn good at it in, you know, live and in person now because he's speaking at all the big events and, and doing really well, or whether you're somebody that does it on video or whether you're somebody that does it one-on-one -on -one across a coffee table with a napkin presentation. Until you learn how to present, and until you learn what triggers the prospect, you will not make the kind of money that and out. So are you coming to see me in Colorado, or are you coming to see me in Connecticut, or are you coming to see me in Vegas? Choice is yours. The only bad choice is not to come see me. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, there you have it. Yeah. That's for computer. sure. My computer's just not working, so I And um, that's really intimate. And if you're really nice, you get to have your private session in the bathtub <laughs> or in the shower. And that's if you had been in the room, you'd know what I mean. <laughs> so, right? There's pictures of me and the guys in the bathtub. So. And here, here I thought we were special, Diane. Apparently, uh, apparently you do that for more than just oh, us. No, huh? I already, I already told you that I get all the security <laughs> things. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just told me you were cruising chicks at the music festival. What do you want me to do? You know, uh, yeah. in, do you want me to sit and pine for you? <laughs> I would, I would appreciate it. It would make me feel better. <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be uh, in with you in Mexico in a few weeks. So, oh, that's um, right. Well, we'll, yeah, we're going to be there so soon. It's incredible. Uh, one of our companies, ten days away. promotion, we're going to Mexico, and we always have a good team. Uh, good, good team. Good. So that's the deal. You go to dianehockman.com. You click on No Excuses Summit. I can't tell you what the real link is because it won't work right now. I'll put it out later. But you know what to do. If you want it, go get it. Um, 
again, $297 value. I will be selling the tickets at regular price. If somebody wants, you know, if you want a regular ticket, you don't want to buy the no excuses thing, whatever. If you pre-bought the, if you pre-bought the, um, the DVDs already from, um, you know, you pre-ordered them or whatever, unfortunately I can't, I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. Um, it's just, it just came to me today. I was like, well, I could launch it for 297 or I can give it away. And uh, I was taught what you give away, you get to keep by uh, an old buddy of mine. So mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. So I'm so done with you people. I'm done with you. <laughs> I'll be here for a minute if anybody writes in a question or anything, but the rest of you, you are dismissed. <laughs> you <laughs> are so time. funny, Diane. Jordan, I cannot wait to see I get to see you like two weeks in a row. Think about it. That's, you're spending that awesome? two weeks in a row with me. That's, that's now powerful. I'm really I jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to share one of the, one of the weekends. You got to share me with my husband. Um, but the other weekend, you know, uh, it's okay. Get you all to myself. That's yeah. So well, much no, better. you got to share me with Adam then. Oh, and Tom Murphy, because uh, me and Tom, we we we're you know we're like this. So you know. How yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom's a great guy. He's gonna have fun with us. Ah, I'm dying to see him. I'm dying to see him. And in fact. I don't know. I might see Tom two weekends in a row too. I don't know what the status is with all. And then I'm going to hang out with Linda Cromar out there, and so many other people are coming out to Colorado. Um, and my favorite thing in the world is to wake up in the morning and go outside and look at the mountains. It's, like, oh. mm. it's epic. So beautiful. It never gets old. No, I can't imagine that it does. I mm -hmm. hope. I hope that you guys still see them, if you know what I mean. Like, because you're there every day and they're there every day. I hope you see them. Oh, I go biking like five days a week, and it's, it doesn't get old. I go the same route, the same spot every time, and it just it doesn't get old. It's, it's awesome. You guys hear that? Everybody else is chained to a desk. Jordan's out riding a bike. Not a bad <laughs> life. Hey, hey, Jordan, how far are you from Vail? I believe, I'm, I'm so bad with geography, but I believe about two and a half hours. Uh, okay, I'll be in Vail for a week later this summer, so. Hmm. Oh, will you? <laughs> yeah. You're going good places. You're going everywhere, Vanessa. We do fun stuff. We we do we fun could, stuff. We're going, yeah. We That's could certainly good. we could certainly connect and do some biking up in Vale. I'm down for that. See, he'll travel. Oh. He's cool. Mm-hmm. He's cool. Vanessa, I know I'll see you somewhere between Boston and, and Saratoga. I know I'll get to get a hug from you and see you. I can't wait for that. Um, no doubt. That'll be good. That'll be good. So I'm looking forward to seeing as many people as possible this summer and into this fall. I'm back in the. Uh, I'm in Orlando twice this summer, um, uh, in Colorado, of course, I'll be doing uh, this event here. We're going to book the event out in Vegas. Uh, then I'm in Scotland. Um, uh, there's something else. You might be on. in Seattle. Yeah, I might be in Seattle. That would be awesomeness. That would be in Pacific Northwest. There's so many um, people up by you, and there's so many people in uh, BC. You know, it's not too far. Yeah, I, I got I got a couple of big names that I can't announce that I got to tell you about. Really, really. Yeah, cool. I, yeah. This, this weekend is good. Cool. So guys, there's so many awesome opportunities. So spectacular. So Kath, anybody saying anything or need anything before we head out of here? Well, there Question, was drama. there yeah there was a little bit of. Um, confusion and questions around the whole ticket thing, but then when you repeated it, um, they were coming back with things like, oh, okay, thanks, okay, I get it now, and that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, okay, and, good. Yeah, there are people, however, who do want to go um, bike riding in Vail with, uh, <laughs> with <laughs> Jordan and Vanessa, so. <laughs> Take your Sweet. spot. Your spot. Um, Guys, my everything's dying. My internet's dying. My phone is beeping. So I think that's saying, get the heck off. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a hint. It's time to um, go. Nine if you have any questions or whatever, I would not hesitate. Though, if you want one of these spots, um, I would not hesitate to grab it uh, ASAP yeah. um, because they will be they will be gone. It's just something fun to do. So it's pretty cool. All right, Jordan. I'm excited yeah, yeah. about being with you. I'm excited about teaching with you. Um, and I'm excited about bringing um, all this good stuff out to uh, your neck of the woods um, and building a, you know, a real foundation for uh, all the marketers out there. And um, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. 
everybody else who is here tonight, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And uh, just let me know what the scoop is if you want that. All you got to do is email me your receipt when you're done, uh, just to make sure it's in the system. And that's Diane at dianehockman.com. I will send out an email tomorrow with all the details of this, but you guys have the sneak peek, so run if you want it now. And the rest of you guys, I'll see you, I don't know, on another webinar sometime somewhere. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely. Good night. Thanks for being right. here, Jordan. And hey, thank Duke, you for having me. Uh, Thanks for Duke having and, me. Duke and Vanessa rock. Next yes, time they we'll do. Get uh, oh, guys, big news, too, next week, Monday night, Ray Higdon's here with us. Um, he's going to be going around uh, telling everybody his new course that he's launching, but I'm not going to let him do that here. I'm going to, like, I don't know, get secret stories about Jessica from him or find out about when he was eight and something weird that happened to him. So I'll be quizzing him <laughs> and getting the real goods out of him. Um, but Ray Higdon will be here. Oh, no, it's not next Monday. It's Monday after. I'm lying. Hmm, is it, it's lying. next Monday, the 11th, isn't it? No, he's here the, he's here the 18th. Oh, I've got it written down mm. wrong. Thank you for mentioning the that. Are, I'm confused about what week is what. Yeah, I've got it written down as the 11th. Okay. No, the I'm almost sure it's the 18th, so um, we'll have to yeah, I think it's that. the 18th, so therefore next Monday we'll do something. How's that? We always do. We always do. Yep, yep. So grab your ticket to Mile High Mastermind, grab your stuff for Pitch Fest, and um, we...